Good morning and welcome to the video. We are off to a boot sale. I know. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's a bit weird. It's the first boot sale we've been to obviously since lockdown and we didn't go to a boot sale for ages before that. So I don't know how long it's been. No. It's been a long time. So we thought we'd try and film on the GoPro and take you along and we'll see see what a boot sale is like after lockdown we've got our masks and we're just going to go and and see what it's like all right well there's lots and lots of uh, buyers looks like there's about two rows of stalls that's your trolley Okay, well we're in, finally. How much is the... Uh, this one, £10. Ten. Right. Does it have figures? You've got the figures with it. Is it the one with the little figures? No, I don't. It's just that. Uh, there's none of the figures at all. No. I'll do you five on it if you want to get rid of it without figures. I'll do seven. Seven no figures. Yeah. You alright? Is this, please? Trolley with me, that's okay, fine, yeah. thank you. Yeah, 
Oh, you just dropped your crochet needle out of the bag. No, oh, I did. Okay, all right. How much is the Panasonic there? Pardon? How much is the Panasonic? Mum, how much is the Panasonic? Just a pound. Just a pound. Just a look. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, that's three pounds. It's new. It's a phonics. The pictures of it's on the back. Right, buy your pound already. And 50p.
I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me through this. Okay. Blankets. Power Rangers thingamajig. on that for two pounds. No idea. Okay, so I'm going to have to voice over this bit because the wind was so strong you couldn't really hear what we were saying in this clip. So we went back in and we had one last look around and picked up a few more bits that you'll see in this clip. We went to a stall, the first time we went to a stall that had all of this crockery, this whole big job lot of midwinter Staffordshire stuff was £20. We said to the lady, I wouldn't want to pay more than 10. She said, if it's still here at the end, you can have it for 10. In the meantime, we came back to the car that you saw before and unloaded. We had a chat about it and decided we didn't really want it, even at 10 pounds. But when we got back to the stall, the lady said, oh, you've come back for the midwinter stuff. And we said, no, we've decided we don't really want it. At which point she said, please take it away. You can have the whole lot for a fiver. Now, that's a terrine in my hand there. There's two of those with lids. Uh, that's a little milk jug. There's a teapot as well. And at a fiver, it seemed worth doing. That's a Marvel Builder Bear Iron Man thing. He's quite good. I grabbed him as well. So we ended up with all the midwinter stuff. I'm still not actually sure we wanted it. <laughs> um, but it was, it was worth it at five pounds, I think. Um, there's an awful lot of it. You'll see in a minute. There's loads and loads of dinner plates. Um, oh, this was nice. This is a WWF, so it's quite old. Um, I think it's Raw, maybe. It's a wrestling um, duvet cover. Uh, that's the teapot in there, the midwinter teapot. There's That's quite a nice serving plate. There was loads of it. There's a load more plates. Not sure if they're dinner plates or side plates. What else have we got? Um, I, I can't remember what that was. Some socks. Some socks for me. <laughs> oh, that was a Marvel uh, lava lamp, officially licensed Marvel product. That was quite nice. More midwinter bits. So yeah, we picked up quite a lot on our last little run round. That's just my coat. And I think that might be it. Well, we are back in the car. Absolutely boiled now. Yeah. And yeah, we did okay. There wasn't masses of stalls, as you may have seen. There was basically one, well, one and a half rows, I guess you'd say. Um, but we've spent most of our money and we came out, we didn't bring masses of money, only bought 150. 
we spent most of that on a massive haul of CDs. Uh, it's all brand new and sealed stuff. But yeah, it was okay. There were certainly people who weren't adhering to any of the regulations. There were a lot of people that weren't. There was um, a guy that leant over you and yeah, and people were crowding around stalls. So we certainly had to take our own evasive action sometimes. But it was difficult when people just come into your space. Mm. And when you're yeah. at a stall doing a, you know, buying something and someone just comes yeah. right up to you. Yeah, it's or really people difficult. are like sort of crowd around or lean over you, it's like, oh. And, you know, sometimes it takes a minute before you can remove yourself from that. There was yeah. one, there was one point where it got really crowded and that I felt a bit anxious at that point. That was when we bumped into, into Alan. Yeah, we saw we Alan, chat. Chelsea, good to see um, you mate. Yeah, it was, I think we jumped ahead of a few stalls, didn't we? So we were okay for a while and then everybody sort of descended um, in one area mm. um, and that got a little bit hairy but yeah you just have to remove yourself. I spoke to a few of the stall holders, um, the ones I spoke to had done really well, they'd sold a lot of stuff. There were less, way, excuse me, way less stalls than there would normally be here and a similar number of buyers if not more. Mm. So. It's a Stella's market, so we may actually, I'd, I'd like to come and clear some of our room of shame that we have at home. Um, so we may come and sell here uh, soon. Yeah. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I was glad to be able to come out and buy some stuff. I will link another video somewhere here of this very same boot sale so you can compare. Um, so go and take a look at that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Ciao.